guys, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back to Would You Rather, the series where I ask you such questions like, would you rather I get kicked in the dick or you becoming your waifu? For one whole year, would you rather be kicked in the groin every day or be gender swapped? This is a question that has bugged me for years now, and I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure why. Well, mostly unsure. You see, when asked a theoretical would you rather question, I'm that guy. You know that guy. The guy who asks way too many follow-up questions, asking for way too many specifics, and makes the whole thing not fun. I'm that guy. So a few years ago, when would you rather videos were the thing on YouTube, I searched up random videos that pose their own would you rather questions. And that is when I ran into the question that I asked at the beginning of the video. I tried looking for the video that asked that question, but gave up after 30 minutes. But hey, share with the class if you're somehow able to find that video. But now we must get to the aforementioned question and why it has somehow stuck with me for years now. It sounds like a simple question. Either get kicked in the groin or your groin changes. But for me, it's not that simple. I have to ask an insane amount of follow-up questions. This way I know the complete ins and outs of the question. And so today, we're going to analyze this question. This is to give you an idea of what asking me a question is like. So yeah, it's been a long while since I've done a non-Pokemon video. I have an entire playlist for Pokemon videos, and my only non-Pokemon video, aside from animations, is my Metopia video, which is my third video. So I think we can use a little break. Would I rather be kicked in the groin every day for a year, or would I rather be gender swapped for a year? First, let's talk about the groin kicking. Right off the bat, we already have a lot to talk about. First, the force of the kicking. Is it consistent? Or will there be a sort of progression system? Will the kicks at the beginning of the year be really soft? But then at the end of the year, will I get kicked so hard that not only will all men around the world clench their groins in unison and pray for my safety, but the force will travel through time, crushing my ancestors' groins so much that my bloodline is never created, ending in my erasure. Speaking of which, who will be kicking me? If I choose to get kicked in the groin each day for a year, will a government agent be given the sole mission to kick me each day? Or will a random person be compelled to kick me? And if that's the case, will the person who's kicking me be aware of it? Imagine me passing by someone, and randomly their eyes go white and they kick me in the groin. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I don't know what came over me. It's okay. I know you did what you had to. Or will everyone know about my vow to get kicked every day, and it just becomes a normal thing where I live? What if someone from out of town sees this and goes, Whoa, are you okay, sir? You're from out of town, right? Uh, yeah? Don't worry. This will stop after two more months. And what if I decide to stay home for a day, or rather another day? Will someone just break into my house, kick me in the nuts, and then leave? Or will I feel compelled to kick myself in the nuts? All of this is what goes on in my head, at least when I think of this scenario. Now for the next scenario. Gender swapped for a year. Okay, so one day I'm a man, but then I wake up the next morning, and I'm a girl. The first question is how reality has shifted. Well, I'm freaking out. Will my loved ones see what's going on, see that I was gender swapped, and start freaking out with me? Or has reality shifted so that I was always a girl, but I'm the only one who remembers that I used to be a guy? Guys, WTF happened? Why am I a girl? This would be so hot if I didn't have a piano recital today. Isabel LMAO, what are you saying? You were always a girl. Oh yeah, I guess story time. So the reason I had Sheriff call me Isabel instead of Danielle is because Isabel was the name planned for me if I was a girl. A few years ago, my family was having dinner out for my mom's birthday, during which we had a conversation about alternative names she had for my siblings and I. It's here where she told me that, back when my parents were unsure if I would be a boy or a girl, the names they planned were Daniel for a boy and Isabel for a girl. So in an alternate universe, instead of Instant Danny Boy, you have Instant Izzy Girl. 
I wonder if I'm more or less of a degenerate in that universe. Oh, and apparently before settling on Daniel as the boy name, my dad originally wanted me to be named Jose, but my mom was immediately against that, on account that every other person in the family was named Jose. To just articulate this, between my parents and their parents alone, my dad and both grandpas are named Jose. And heck, my maternal grandma is actually named Josefina. So between these six people, three of them are named Jose, and one is named a variation of Jose. So safe to say, my mom was against adding me to that list. But I guess there's also an alternate universe where I'm... Instant... Hosey boy? And that's the universe where Microsoft actually managed to buy Nintendo. But back to the main topic. I'll be honest, that's about all that comes to mind in this would you rather scenario. I guess it's just the groin kicking that I've been wondering about for these past few years. So with that, now we must ask definitively for one year. Would I rather get kicked in the groin each day or be gender swapped for the year? Looking at these two, I'm picking gender swapped and it's not even a contest. Unless I know, for certain, that the kicks I'll be receiving will be soft year-round, I'd rather not go through that pain. So yeah, I guess you can expect the reign of instant Izzy girl sometime soon. I hope you enjoyed this shorter, experimental video. I wanted to test the waters with the animated storytime format, so I hope you enjoyed. I'll probably make more of these when I think of some other random thing I want to talk about. But for now, it's time for me to go back to the chokehold that the Pokemon franchise has on me until then. But hey, as a reminder, less than 2% of viewers are subscribed. So if you want to help change that, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And if you don't, oh well, I tried. Have a nice day, you wonderful people. So I don't know why I asked this, but when I was little, I was shopping with my mom and randomly asked, Mom, am I a girl? And she just looked at me with this confused look and went, What? No. Why would you ask that? And I just kind of responded, Just wanted to make sure. And yeah, that's about it. I just thought I'd fit in an extra story as the post credit scene. Okay, bye!